Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest 4, Roger Wilco and the Time Rippers. We are finally dressed, we got dressed in the last episode, and a couple of you guys have been in touch since the last time, um, in particular S. Thomas, saying that uh, we got a little bit ahead of ourselves for what we wanted to be doing here. Apparently the arcade and when the sequel police turn up is something that we want to leave till a bit later, there's still more to explore here. So we're going to skip the arcade for now, uh, because it seems like that that triggers the more difficult part of the mall from what I've been told. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm guessing those guys show up and make things difficult. So let's leave the arcade as it is. We'll head straight past, we'll check all the other stores, make sure that we've, you know, done what we need to do, and then we'll head to the arcade at some point. I can hear that Astro Chicken music again. It's bringing back so many nightmares from Space Quest 3. What is this place? Is that people doing aerobics in the mirror? In the sorry, mirror, in the window? I don't know, but we do need to go back to Monolith Burger at some point because we've got clothes now, so I wonder if we will be allowed in there. Oh my god, what is this place? Check out these clothes. The latest in swank fashion, displayed in a number of horrifying colours. Yeah, they are quite garish, aren't they? What's this? All the best dressed bipedal female fashion slaves shop here at Socks. The dazzling decor is just eye-numbing enough to make the price tags hard to read. <laughs> okay. Wow, you think to yourself, this place is fancier than Frederick's of Uranus. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to this robot, I guess. Is it a robot? They all seem to be robots. Hun, I'm Maybot, fashion consultant to the Cosmos. What can we oh, do with you today? Well, uh, this is kind of hard to explain. Oh, let me guess. You want something for someone very special. <laughs> someone who died to get the latest in high galactic fashion. Are we right? Or are we right? I don't actually know. Um, we're right. Okay, what size does she take? Oh, 38. <laughs> oh. I don't think we're right about that. Um, I'm, uh, I'm not sure, but she's built about like me. <laughs> Is she? A likely story. Good thing for you, I can keep a secret, sweetie. But what's going on then? Are we... <laughs> I love the way this robot walks, it's bizarre. Do we need to buy anything from here? I'm guessing maybe we do to sort of disguise I'm ourselves. Sure this will suit that special someone's needs. It's all the rage. Okay. And how much are we talking here? Because I don't think we have that much money. I suppose you want to try it on now. Here, use this dressing room. Okay. We can do that. Yeah, so I wonder if we've got to use this to disguise ourselves as the lady on the ATM card. And honey, if your special someone needs a wig, this one should look pretty good on you. Oh nice, we got a wig as well, have we? Right, yeah, we definitely needed that. Wow! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Very lovely, honey. It's made for you. Would you like us to wrap it up? Or would that special someone prefer you to wear it home? I think I'll wear it home. Wow. <laughs> wow. Just what we thought. That will be 60 buckazoids, sicko. Ooh. Do, do we have 60 buckazoids? Um, I, I don't actually know if we do. I, I mean, we can, we can try. I mean, I'm not really sure how many buckazoids we actually have. Are you in need of an auditory exam or what? Pay up, pal. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, but how do we pay? It would serve no purpose. Are you in need of an auditory exam or what? Pay up, pal. Maybe we haven't got enough money. I mean, can we... Can we leave? Are we going to sort of get changed back into our normal clothes if we... Yeah, okay. You should know by now that you can't just take things without paying for them. Well, it's worth a try. 
never know. Right, but anyway, we know where we need to come now. So we obviously don't have any enough money. So how are we going to get money? Because we need the ATM card to get money, but we've got to disguise ourselves. So, I mean, did we potentially spend the money that we needed? Maybe. So this could potentially be problematic. So let's... Well, we know what we're doing now. We've got, we've got an idea of what... So we need 60 buckazoids. It looks like we maybe have 30... Oh, this place is empty now. Okay, let's check out this place and then we'll go to the Monolith Burger. Hey, check out this place. Sorry, but the crowd completely cleaned out my stock of Sierra software. Oh. The only thing that's left is boring home and business application software along with a few inferior games. <laughs> but feel free to look around anyway. Thank you. So, are you looking for a good database? We uh, have one coming in next week. No, I don't I don't I don't actually know what we're looking for. A bargain bin containing discount software. Nice. Can we get any of it? Ooh. Bargains. Boom. <laughs> that looks very much like Loom. Um, I can't really see any of the others. The latest bomb from master storyteller Maury Bryanarty. Boom! Is a post-Holocaust adventure set in post-Holocaust America after the Holocaust. Neutron bombs have eradicated all life leaving only you to wander through the wreckage. No other characters, no conflict, no puzzles, no chance of dying, <laughs> and no interface make this the easiest to finish game yet. Just boot it up and watch it explode. I love the little, um... Oh, what's the price of this one? 47 buckazoids? Jeez. Um, resume. All right, let's see what else they've got. From the folks who brought you Astro Chicken. When it comes to stimulating chickens, Chuck Egger is the expert. <coughs> and now you can learn from him. Design the chicken of your choice. Over 40 options including lips, no lips, and laying frequency. Lovely. And take your creation for a wild ride over real barnyard scenery based on an authentic flight model of a chicken. You're in for a peck of fun now. Wow. Um, how much is that one? 51 buckles. Jeez, we haven't really got enough for any of this. What's this one? Following closely on the heels of his hit tic-tac-toe construction set, Phil Fudge does it again. Using a simple point-and-click interface, you construct the checkerboard of your dreams. Fill in an 8x8 grid with squares of your choice, red or black, in any arrangement, as long as it's alternating. Don't like it? Erase it and start all over again. Requires MCGA, CGA, VGA, PGA, or tara ra boom ga <laughs> I love how, like, there's the little fun poke to other games. It's quite funny. Um, this one was by Scumsoft as well which is pretty amusing what's this one? Oh, we can't uh where okay that one 48 but we we can't really get any of these didn't find anything you like uh. well no because i don't have any money all right so what we do it looks like we've got maybe 39 buckazoids if if the number on the coin is indeed what that is so I don't really know what we're going to do for money, to be honest. Let's head on. Let, let's check out the Monolith Burger anyway, because we've got to go there. We know we can get in now, so we've solved a puzzle there at least. We also need to know if there's anything we can get hurt so good. Uh, also, the Dragon Song was saying that there's a, an area you can get to where it has, like... It's really difficult to get into it, but apparently it has loads of stuff that they took out of the Sierra games because of potential copyright issues. So I don't know how you get into there, but it'd be quite amusing to see that. Okay, we're in now. Yeah. Uh, hello. Mmm, famous mono sauce number two. Yeah. Mmm, famous mono sauce. Mono source and mono, mono source two. Can we take any of these? It doesn't look like it. No. Uh, it's the gruff, unpersonable manager of this particular monolith burger franchise. Lovely. All right. Well, first things first. Let's save because we haven't saved for a little while. So if we can save in here, let's um, save in the monolith burger just in case something happens. 
No shirts, no shoes, no service. All right, help wanted. What's that? Does that mean that? I don't know. Let's see. Can we maybe? I'd like a. We're out of it. We're out of everything. Oh what? Including employees. Not a very good shop then, are you? Not a very good restaurant. Would you like to apply for a job? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm hard up for cash. Maybe we can. You would, huh? Well, this is the greatest opportunity you've ever had, kid. Benefits up the wazoo. And if you stick with me a uh, half an hour or so, I'll make you my assistant manager. Oh, and nice. You like that. And how Gee, much do we thanks. get? Okay. Warning, the following sequence contains explicit arcade action and is not recommended for die-hard adventure players. Oh, God. The arcade squeamish or those with poor to non-existent <laughs> motor skills. Uh, let me, I, I love a challenge. Please let me wimp out, but can I have the cash? I mean, I'm tempted to go for that, but let's see. This is so easy, a human could probably do it. Really? Burger comes out of the oven. Drop on your lettuce, your pickle, squeeze on your mayo, squirt on your mustard, on goes your ketchup, top it off with your sesame seed bun. You make them my way, and if you mess up enough times, you're out of here. Oh, God, Got okay. It? If you need to know how to run the assembly line, read the sign. Just click it with the mouse or press R. <laughs> okay, fine, hang on. Instructions for the Master Burger 2000. This notice must be posted wherever the Master Burger 2000 is in use. The hand cursor must be active in order to pick up and install condiments. Keyboard. Up and down arrow switch between con... Oh, okay, we're just going to use the mouse. Click on condiment to pick it up. Click it again on top of burger to install it. If you're carrying a condiment and you cycle to another cursor, the condiment drops back into its bay. Uh, joystick, we don't care. So... Oh god, okay, this is... Keep your hands to yourself. Keep your hands to yourself. This is really difficult. Oh, okay. So it's just... A, it's just a case of clicking, is it? How many of these do we need to do? So we get a, a dollar... Oh, God. We get a dollar for every one? Have we got to do this, like, 60 times? Oh god, okay. Wow, okay, this is gonna be painful. How many did we think we had? 39, right? Don't mess with it. I, I didn't do anything. <laughs> it wasn't me. Is, is the game really gonna make us do this till we get to $60 so that we can buy those clothes? Oh, this is like Astro Chicken and, um, what was the one in, what was the other, it was the one in Space Quest 1, wasn't it, that, um, slots machine. Wow, okay, so this is, <laughs> this is what you've tuned in for today, guys, me making burgers. So if we got, I mean, if we've got, say, the music seems to be getting faster. Does it get more difficult? Is it speeding up? Or is it is it just me imagining it? Anyway, I'm thinking maybe we need to get... Um, God. I'm thinking we maybe need to get like $21. So that we can... If we had 39, 21 should take us to 60, right? And then maybe we can use the ATM card to get more money? That actually sounds like a plan. So if we can get to $60, then potentially what we can do is use the $60 you to can't do that. use the $60 to buy the dress and the wig. Use the dress and the wig Keep to your hands to yourself. Use the Oh god, that was close. Use the dress and the wig to um it's definitely getting faster. What the you hell? Can't do that. Oh my god. Oh, flipping out it's getting fast.
Jeez! Did, did we do that one wrong? Whoops. Oh god, it doesn't even you slow down. Do you... No! Don't. No! <laughs> right, hang on. Can we adjust the game speed? Is, will that... Oh, no, you can't. Oh, that's so evil. That is so evil. Okay, this is really, really difficult. Keep your hands to yourself. Keep your... Oh, jeez. Okay, we're so close to, to what we need, I think. Did we say 21? You can't do that. No! Yeah, all right. Give me another one. Come on. Don't mess with it. Okay, I, I'm thinking if we can get to 21, the plan is to get to 21, buy the wig and the dress, use the wig and the dress to trick the machine to get money from the ATM, and then, hopefully, with, with that money... Oh god, we're you. gonna screw this one up. You. Oh, this is really difficult. We need like four more dollars if my theory's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reject, reject. Come on. Has it slowed down a bit? Or was I just really quick that time? See, whoever said that you don't get quality gaming content on Turian Shepherd's channel? I mean, this is like as good as it gets really isn't it watching me badly make burgers we need two more dollars we just need to do two more of these i mean hopefully we don't need to get like loads more money you can keep i mean that was a little bit unfair I, mean, I, I take it back. This is worse than Astro Chicken. Oh no, it's sped up again. Keep you. You. <laughs> Come on, just one more dollar, please. Come on. I mean, I don't even know if you can like quit out of this game. I assume you can. Can you? You can't do that. C can we like quit? It's very pleasant looking. H how do we like get out of here? Don't mess with it. Can we? Can we like? Can we quit? Keep. H how do no. we? You can't do that. How do we quit the game? Okay. Blah, blah, blah. If you carry a condiment, you cycle to another curse, so the condiment drops back in. Yeah, but how do you leave the game? You talk to yourself, but you don't hear you. Do we just like press escape? No, that takes us back to. How do we leave the game? How do we leave the game? <laughs> You'd better not. It smells like a pipe. How do we get out of here? I don't want to work anymore. Let me leave work. Let me leave work. Okay, we click pay, I think. Do we click pay? You're fired! My janitor could do a better job than you. I mean, we are actually a janitor, so... Oh, what's that? What's that thing? Was that his, like, cigar or something? Alright, let's try and get that. This le this episode's going to go on a tiny bit longer. Right, I wonder if... We Hang on. Let's look at our... Because I want... I'll Why can I not... Oh, because we're going on to the next screen, I guess. Right, where's this... Where is that thing that he threw on the... On the, the floor? 
Was it his cigar? I'm sure he was smoking a cigar, wasn't he? Okay. We'll have to go round and maybe meet it as it comes round. So yeah, this is going to be a longer episode than usual, but that's fine. Because I want to get this thing. If we can. <gasps> there it is! Okay, let's grab it. You retrieve the cigar butt. Nice. All right, we got a cigar butt. I'm not really sure how that's going to help us out. Uh, let's have a look at this. Yes, that is what the number is. So we've got 60. So now we can buy the wig and the dress. Excellent. So, um, let's see. What else have we got here? Let's look at this cigar quickly. It's very pleasant looking. It's very pleasant looking. Okay, it doesn't really help us. Don't mess with it. All right it. then, guys. I'll tell you what. We're going to leave it there. In the next one, we're going to go back to that shop. We're going to buy the wig and the dress. Then we're going to try and use the ATM card. And hopefully, everything will be good. But that does it for this one. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, and Lyle for all the support. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, click that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all next time.